Hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just out for a bike ride today, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How are gears useful? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need cardboard, different sized cans, some tape, and a pair of scissors. Start by getting yourself different sized circular cans. Now, get yourself some cardboard and tear off one side of the paper so that you're left with just the bumps. Now, wrap each of your cans and tape it shut. Make sure the bumps are on the outside. Okay, once you've finished your cans, you're gonna place them together. And then you're gonna give each of them a spin. Woohoo! 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 Now that is pretty cool. So, how are these like gears? Well, don't take a closer look at me. Take a closer look at this. Gears are a simple machine that is a wheel or a cylinder with teeth around the outside used to transmit rotary motion from one part of a machine to another. Two or more gears transmitting motion from one shaft to another is called a gear train. Notice when you rotated the big can, it was much easier to transfer rotary motion into the smaller can. This is why the larger gears are used in the front of the bike, or pedaling gears, and the smaller gears are used in the back of the bike, or speed gears. Let's take a close-up look at the gears on your bike. When you want pedaling to be easier, you move the chain to a larger gear in the back. The longer distance the chain travels means the less torque force needed to move the bike forward. When you want to pick up speed, you move the chain to a smaller gear. This less distance means more force is needed, and the more torque force means the faster you will go. So now you know how gears work. You know, making your own gears right at home is why science... It's so cool.